What up, people? Kelly Burke, KRB Fitness, sitting right here with my main man. Trey Wilder. You know what time it is. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so we want to cover a quick topic, and that topic is how do you balance bodybuilding and life? Yeah, there you go. The key word I just said in that trailer, I don't know if they've counted. Balance. Yeah. Life is all about balance. So guess who you are? What's the name of that movie that you tell me to watch with the guy on the balance beam walking with the pose? Man, what's, what's the, name the name of that movie? movie? The, the line. The line. The, line. The, the, the walk. The walk. The walk. Okay, yeah, you remember that guy in that bitch. movie, right? You know what he had to keep doing? Keep practicing, walking these lines. Keep practicing. He walked, he figures out how to juggle. He figures out how to hold the pole. He figures out how to do all this stuff. And that's what that's bodybuilding in life. Yeah, go watch that movie, man. The analogy is what I'm telling you guys is, is that's bodybuilding, okay? Bodybuilding is walking that thin line and saying, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to cut off everything to transform my body, to get my mind disciplined, and to change my life. And guess what? When you walk out that gym, you're still a bodybuilder, but you got a regular life. A lot of us have jobs. A lot of us have I have families, I have kids, I got this business still, and my business is at this gym. So think about the balance that I have to have. I've got to be able to print shirts, manage a t-shirt business, worry about gym memberships, and training clients, and still be training my and still train myself. I got a lot of stuff I have to balance. And so at the end of the day, what I have to do is cut them off and cut them on. So I'm saying cut them off and cut them on, but all of them still are yeah, on all day. Yeah, I, can't, I, yeah, I can never stop thinking about my wife. I can never stop yeah. thinking about my kids. I can never stop thinking about my bank account, my money. I can never stop thinking about bodybuilding and training, my diet. I think you just have to be a great master of balancing all these things. And people say, well, if you don't focus, then how are you going to be successful? I didn't say not focus. I said be great at balancing. Be great at managing. You know what you are in life? God put you on this earth to be a steward of your own life. You know what a steward is? A steward is somebody that doesn't own the business. He's somebody that manages the business. You know who owns the business? God. He owns your life. He put you on this earth and said, be great. And it's up to you to say, you know what I mean? Figure it out. You got to yeah. figure it out, man. Give me That's something, all man. That's it's about, man. Uh, you really do need to have uh, that. It's kind of like that on and off switch, like you said. You got to be able to put your attention to certain things at certain times. So when you go to the gym, it allows you to be more focused. You need to put that little hour in. Yep. You need to put all your attention into making that muscle grow. And you get out, and then you go put some attention into something else. Like right. for me, I could never stop thinking about art, my bank account, you know, mm -hmm. uh, my business that I have going on, and and shoot the team. Mm -hmm. I'm, I got to be here for my team. So having those things, you got to learn to pay attention to certain things. At, this, at their uh, required time. You know? Exactly. you know, and I had to tell my wife, man, because, you know, my wife was mad at me at one point in time and saying, you know, that all my, my, my attention is only on bodybuilding and, you know, I, I forsake the family and, you know, I don't, I don't put enough time in. I have to really sit back and be like, you know what? Is she right? And I think in a sense she was very right. But on the other hand, I calculated the hours that I put into bodybuilding. Let me explain this to you. So I watch YouTube videos every day about a bodybuilder. I either I'm watching Dave Palumbo's Muscle in the Morning or some old videos from him. I'm watching motivational stuff from Kai Green or I'm pulling stuff for old posers or whoever else the case may be. So every day I'm going to watch something in bodybuilding, okay? I give that about 30 minutes of my day. Mm -hmm. From that point, we go train. I give that another two hours of the day. So that's two hours and 30 minutes. The rest of the day, guess what I'm doing? I'm working. So I'm working. I'm training clients. I'm managing the business. So I'm doing that all throughout the day. When I when I wake up in the morning, uh, I take my shower. I do whatever else I'm gonna do. So I'm at home for another hour and a half, two hours before I leave to go to work. And then that night when I get home, I'm up and I'm talking to my wife about two or three hours before I go to bed. Who gets the most time throughout the day? She does, and she just doesn't realize it. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't get the most time. My job gets the most time. But my point is, bodybuilding probably gets the least amount of time throughout the day because I gotta work. So it's not that all my whole focus is on bodybuilding, it's just that I'm balancing it. And to you, it may seem like that's the only thing I care about or that's the only thing I'm focusing on. But at the end of the day, I just figured out that I'm gonna give this this many hours, I'm gonna give this this many hours, I'm gonna give you this many hours, I'm gonna give my kids this many hours, and I'm gonna give my job this many hours. And so at the end of the day, that's what balancing it is. So let me just say this to all you people out there that are saying that are not bodybuilders and that just start working out and saying man my job man mm -hmm. I can't work out because of my job anything in life that you want to do bad enough you you'll find time. time yep you'll find it let your girl tell you we ain't went on a date in five months and you know what you tell her baby I'm just so busy what you mean you busy you sitting back with your feet wide kicked up watching the Cowboys right, watching now. Netflix right yeah. now I've had to learn how to, to cut back on football I had to learn how to cut back on sport I learned how to cut back on a lot of stuff in life that I loved guys mm -hmm. I love the Dallas Cowboys I love football but guess what I haven't watched that many games this year you know why because I love my family more so on Sundays you know what I'll sit back and do I don't even cut that TV on half the time I sit back play with my kids talk to my wife and just really enjoy life you know what I mean because that's what it's about finding balance all right so hope that helps you guys man you heard it from the man the myth the legend Kelly Burke Caribbean Fitness
I'm with Trey Wilder. Shop them tees at KLBAppareshop.com. Comment, like, subscribe. Give us your comments on what you think about it, guys, and we'll see you next time. Holla! Bwah!